Okay, final part. We are working on the Word Chapter 5, Pause and Practice, Word 5-5. Five -five. And for this one, we are going to start by creating a new blank Word document. So if you still have Word open from the previous lesson, we're going to File, New. We're going to go ahead and resave this, so file, save as. And we're going to save it with your initials, PPW5-5 label. Step number three, we're going to start the mail merge wizard, so we need to go up to the mailings tab. And in the start mail merge, we are going to pull the arrow down, and we are going to do the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So this is showing you another way to uh, access your database and walk through mail merge than we just did. So now we're on step number four, select the document, type, and starting document. So over on the right, we have our mail merge navigation pane that has come up. And we want to change our document type to labels and select Please make sure that change document layout is selected. It should be by default, but go ahead and double check that. And let's click on our label options. And hopefully it's still set from earlier, but if it's not, we can change it to the Avery US letter, the 5160 label. Go ahead and press OK. Now we see the label template up on the screen with our grid lines. And over on the right, we need to select our recipient. And we are going to use an existing list. And then we have to browse to find those files that we downloaded earlier. Once you find those, double click and open Skiing Unlimited Volunteers. So again, you will see all of the names of those individuals. We want to sort the last column in ascending. So let's do that again. Sort ascending, it puts them in alphabetical order. Let's press OK. So it should show next record in each of the labels. And over on the right for step three of six, arrange your labels. So now it's asking us, what do we want to do here? And I'm on step number six. Put your cursor in the first label cell and click address block. So I'm going to click in this first empty cell. There it is. Let me just scroll over there. And now I'm going up and selecting my address block so that it's asking us what the format is that we like. And by default, Mr. Joshua Randall Jr. should be selected. If not, go ahead and change that. Insert postal address is selected. That's what we would like. So we're not changing anything and we're pressing OK. So we see a dress block in this first label, but we're going to update all of our labels now. Okay. We're going to update our labels. You'll now see that the address block has been added to each label. And now we want to preview the last step. 6F. Preview your labels. This will give you an idea of what it would look like. 
if you have your show hides on, you can see those paragraph markers. Okay. Step number seven. Now we need to uh, preview. We're in our preview results right here. You can go through and look. You can even use your arrows to go to the specific ones. Look at that one. Okay. So we're number seven, previewing labels and complete the merge. So you're just double checking that everything looks good, everything's okay. Down on the right, step five of six, we're going to complete the merge in step seven B. And of course, edit individual labels. And we're selecting all. It should be by default, but if not, click the All button and press OK. So now we have a new document on the screen that says Labels 1, and it is of our labels of our clients or our volunteers. So we need to save this now. File, Save As. And we're saving with the name, your initials, CP. W5-5 labels merge. Okay, that completes lesson 5-5. Make sure your document is saved and close Microsoft Word. Anything prompts you to save the changes, please do so before closing. Please upload to the Resources tab for credit. Good luck.